hot really fast. Good morning, everyone. We're going to be taking a look at the hot Palmetto State Armory Jackal. Specifically, this variation is in the 14 and a half inch pin and weld with a Reardon R2 at the end. Now, before we get into all that, while you're here, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe, as that is all free and does help us out quite a bit. And go ahead and comment your favorite non-AR-15 AR in the comments down below. Now, full disclosure on this rifle is that PSA did send this out to me for free. They have sent me a couple things in the past as well. A basic upper that was out of spec and one of their newer sabers that wasn't finished properly and now a jackal that wasn't machined properly. Getting into the basics of the rifle, this is, as I mentioned earlier, a 14 and a half inch pin and weld variation on one of their supplied jackal lowers. The MSRP of this version with the F5 stock and an EPT enhanced polished trigger is right at 1300 bucks, which for a non AR-15 is pretty cheap. But for an AR-15, there are a near infinite amount of better rifles out there made by companies with a functioning QC department. Out front, we have the Reardon R2, which is the long version with ports all the way around, so no closed off section at the bottom. It is of course pinned in place, and that looks very nice. Well done. The barrel itself is a 4150 a black nitride affair. It's kind of a middleweight profile, definitely not a heavy barrel, which I think is appropriate for a general-ish purpose rifle. Twist rate is one in seven, and it is of course finished in half by 28 threads. Moving on to the gas block, we have a eight position adjustable gas block with easy toolless adjustments. The gas block is pinned in place as it should be for a long stroke piston system. It, the block is a bit of a chunky boy, probably one of the heavier, bulkier ones that I've seen, to be honest. Talking about the receiver and handguard, because we can't really talk about them separately, the top half is monolithic, of course, and holds all of your internals, your piston, carrier, recoil system, charging handle, etc. The bottom half has M-Lock at the 3, 6, and 9 o'clock positions and is bolted to the upper in four places. While the top half is rigid and certainly can't rotate like an AR-15 handguard, keep in mind that the bottom half is Flex City. At the back we have built-in QD points for your sling, and other than removing some bulk and extra material and adding a few more connection points, there isn't much more you could ask for for this style of handguard. Now talking about the recoil system, this is based off of the long stroke piston system, which means the piston and carrier are one piece. Gas goes into the block and acts upon the piston, forcing the whole system into action. I'm not going to get into the piston versus DI in this video, but if you like piston things, this does that. And if you don't like piston things, well, you get it. Of the several objective downsides of a piston system, the one is going to be additional reciprocating mass. I don't have the exact numbers in front of me, but it's around 10 to 20% more. We'll talk about shootability later, but it's not great. Another downside is increased parts wear. The action opens up faster as the process starts as soon as gas hits the piston in the gas block versus for waiting it to come back through the BCG on a DI system. Now one upside is that you don't have a gas tube pointed at your face waiting to belch hot gases at high velocity in your direction. The recoil system on the Jackal is very AK-like, it's just a long heavy duty spring. Honestly this has done better than most internal recoil systems that I've seen, simple, robust, and plenty of spring tension. Getting into the carrier and trunnion, we have a 4340 carrier, an 8620 front trunnion, and again, kind of AK adjacent, let's say, but the bolt is the Millspec Carpenter 158. It's an unholy combination of parts and materials with the advantages of neither. last piece to talk about on the upper is the charging handle. It can be swapped to either side, it's easy to grab, doesn't reciprocate, and when using it you can lock the bolt back as a righty with one hand. 
Moving on to the lower, it's a pretty basic lower with the enhanced polish trigger and a Magpul grip. No issues. The stock is the F5 stock, which is of course a ripoff of the ACR stock, but what isn't? It works kind of like an ACR stock. It looks kind of like an ACR stock, but instead of feeling like a well-designed solid stock, it feels like an airsoft toy, and we'll have to see how it holds up to some abuse. Getting into reliability, after just a few hundred rounds so far, no issues whatsoever. The gas block makes it very easy to tune, and it shoots well enough suppressed. Now, shootability, on the other hand, is not great. Even with the adjustable gas block, you can feel all that reciprocating mass, and it's just not a pleasant experience. Now, yes, at the end of the day, it's still just 5.56, so it's not bad, but again, it's basically worse than every AR on the market which is surprising for such a heavy system. Did I mention that this thing is like a pound heavier than a similar AR? It's just chunky and immediately noticeable. I was shooting a 20 inch LSW on the same day and when switching between the two to the Jackal, I kept wondering why it felt so heavy for a smaller condensed package. And it also shot a lot worse, which didn't help. For 1300 bucks, I'm not particularly impressed, and I haven't even gotten to the reason why you shouldn't waste your money on something like this, but I gotta keep something back for the long-term review. So with that little tease at the end, there are my thoughts so far on the PSA Jackal. It's new, and by new I mean copying designs 20 to 70 years old, but hey, a bunch of YouTube corpo slugs shilled it, so now it's cool for some reason. But with all of that out of the way, guys, let me know what you think of the PSA Jackal in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. I will see you in the next one. Peace off.